New at 530, an Altamont Springs police officer is accused of intentionally leaving out evidence to drop a ticket against another officer. Tonight, Knight investigates one officer's plan that led to three people being disciplined. Here's a breakdown. An off-duty Altamont Springs officer caused a crash and her co-worker wrote her a ticket, but that officer told his supervisor almost immediately that he was thinking of leaving evidence out of it to make sure the ticket would be thrown out. Only investigative reporter Carla Ray got a hold of documents that spell out all of those details. She joins us live right now in Altamont Springs and Carla, that ticket was dropped, but now all three of those officers are in trouble. Yeah, the officer who had the ticket written to her was given a write-up. The supervising officer who was also written up for not doing enough to make sure that ticket was handled properly was written up, and then he resigned just days later. And the officer who responded on duty to give that ticket in the first place is still under investigation, and this is not the first time we've told you about him. Altamont Springs Police Public Information Officer Evelyn Estevez was off duty and in her own car when she slammed into the back of a stopped vehicle near this intersection in January. This crash report shows she was at fault, but after her own colleague wrote her a ticket, internal affairs officers found Christopher Tomich allegedly told her the crash witness list may not be submitted with the citation, implying the ticket would be dismissed. Certified law enforcement expert Chuck Drago says that omission is just as bad as falsifying records. An officer is obligated to treat everybody fairly and to do a proper and thorough investigation on any assignment he may get. Estevez told investigators she insisted she, quote, did not want that done. But Internal Affairs found Tomich even told his supervisor, Master Police Officer Ryan Bonk, of his potential plan. Bonk was written up, too, in this memo, which states a greater level of precaution was warranted on your part to ensure there was no perception of bias or favoritism. When somebody does something like this, it reflects on the entire department. It's not the first time we've covered a questionable traffic call handled by Tomich. Were you drinking at World of Beer or were you just hanging out with friends? No, I'm not drinking. Okay. We exposed this video in 2016 when Tomich stopped an off-duty Orlando officer who admitted to drinking and driving. She wasn't given a field sobriety test, and at the time, Tomich's agency defended his actions. Why didn't this woman go to jail? Hit and run, leaving the scene of accident is a misdemeanor. It's a criminal citation attached to that traffic report, and again, that's officer discretion. Now, Tomich is actually under two separate internal investigations right now. We were unable to get details on that second investigation, but as soon as we get those in, those details, we'll pass them along to you. I want to note, I reached out to both of the other victims who were in this crash with that off-duty officer, and the one I was able to reach told me that he had very minor damage to his car, and he did not want to comment for the story. Reporting live in Altamont Springs, Carla Ray, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.